so this is our initial template as you can see over here that there is AWS template format version it is a constant and in future this value might change but for now let's just keep this as our template version then we have the description parameters resources and output the only required block for a template is resources so let's go ahead and delete parameters and outputs and in the next clip we will work on parameters and outputs but in this clip we'll focus more on resources inside the resource block we have type the type value is set to aws ec2 instance that tells cloud formation that we want to build ec2 instance Here we will define the instance type. We want to use T2 Micro for free tier. Security group. It's just a placeholder right now and we will write the detailed code for it in few seconds. Key name we want to use. If you recall the key name from EC2 chapter, the key we had created. And all these are defined under properties. Now let's add image ID that we want to use. Let's write security group and we will call it security group. You can call it anything you want as long as you remember the name and when you reference this name just use the correct name type is security group then we have set the description and we have array of ingress rules we want to allow inbound access to port 80 because we are creating a web server we also want to allow inbound access to port 22 so that we can later on ssh into the instance now that security group is created let's go back to ec2 instance block now i should have mentioned that you can name this block whatever you want to now let's fix the security group value security group is actually an array so let's type square brackets and we can have multiple security groups that's the reason we have an array but for our demo we are just go we have we are just going to use one security group now here we are going to write the ref equal to security group so here we are using ref function which is an intrinsic function in cloud formation and it's simply saying we are referencing this resource here which is security group so now we have everything we need to create our ec2 instance with security group using cloud formation so now let's go ahead and see how to utilize this template and create our EC2 in instance using cloud formation. Now sign into the management console and from services click on cloud formation. So you will come up with the screen and then click on design or create a new stack and here we will browse to the template that we had just created in Visual Studio. Or whichever editor you had used and then click next and let's give it a name so our stack name for instance I'm giving it first EC2 you can name whatever you want as your stack name and click next over here and then we'll 
give it a key value so that we can later on identify your stack you can leave it blank if you want but let's just go ahead and give a key value name and then click next and this is the review page um, and you can see the details over here and just click on create so now it is creating our stack as you can see in the event section that the creation is in progress and it will show us the resources that it is creating or cloud formation is creating resources after a while you will see that there are more events means there is security group creation which is completed and instance creation is in progress you can also see that the parameters is blank but template is the one that we had uploaded that entire template can be seen over here well, let's go to ec2 section and see whether the instance is created or not and it is created for us and you can see over here the security group is created and it's like just and it's like the EC2 instance that we had created in earlier section with all the details and now you can go to the security group and you can see the description that we had given in the template and the inbound ingress rules that we had created are there So now let's go back to cloud formation and let's select our stack and then in actions click on delete stack and click yes over here so what this will do is actually it will not only delete the stack it will delete all the resources underneath and you can see in the events that the deletion is under progress so once the stack is deleted all the resources including security groups and the EC2 instances are gone and once they are gone when we go back to the cloud formation page this is how it looks like.